Matthew Fitzpatrick is your 2022 US Open champion. What a tournament at the country club. That Sunday will go down in the history books and Matthew Fitzpatrick's performance hole to hole hitting 17 out of 18 greens truly was one of the greats. Let's talk about what clubs he used. I absolutely love Matt Fitzpatrick's bags. He isn't tied down to one brand, so he's got a few different things in here. First up with the driver, he's got a Titleist TSI 3, nine degrees with a Tensi AV Raw Orange 65 TX shaft. One thing to mention with Matt, over the last year or two, he's really increased his club head speed by doing speed training, gym training, things like that. He's gone up from 112 miles an hour to roughly 119 miles an hour. That is a big increase, and he's now rivaling the likes of Dustin Johnson for distance. This really helped him in round four, now Matt is a Titleist ambassador, meaning that he does have the Titleist driver in play and he also has some wedges and the golf ball, which I'll get onto in a little bit, but it's not a full Titleist bag. His three wood, he goes over to Ping with a Ping G425 Max at 14.5 degrees. And similar to his driver, he has a Tensi AV Raw Orange, but with a 75 gram TX shaft rather than a 65. This club helped him a lot on par fives. The G425 Max is still one of the best clubs you can use in 2022. And I'm really excited to see what Ping have to offer in the next year. Now his next club is something we're seeing a lot in tour plays and I encourage you guys to try it out. He's got a seven wood, yeah, a Ping G4 10 seven wood set at 20.5 degrees with a Tennessee CK Pro Orange 80 TX shaft. Slightly different shaft setup, which I imagine is just to keep that launch and spin as optimal as possible. A seven wood I didn't really talk about last year or in 2020, but we've seen it in a lot of players bags. Players like Dustin Johnson and Louis Oosthuizen and Max Homer have all been toying around with it. And it did work really well at the US Open because you're able to get a really high launching club that stops on those hard pan greens. Next up, let's go on to his irons. Now this week, he put the Ping I210 4 iron in play, but then he's got the Ping S55 from five to pitching wedge. Matt does actually carry a Ping I210 5 iron as well, but he decides what to use each week. He has these in the Ping CFSX 115 gram shafts. Going on to wedges, he's got the Titleist Vokey Design SM9 in 52, 56 and 60. And these are in the True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S300 shafts. A new wedge for 2022 and I've actually got the exact setup in my bag right now. Matt used to really struggle around the greens but if you haven't seen he's actually gone cack handed. So left hand low, which I'm sure a lot of amateur players will be using this week just to see how good it really is. I've tried it out, it's very difficult, so I commend Matt for doing it and getting up and down from all sorts of places at the country club. Finally, his putter, a really nice putter that not a lot of people talk about, the Betanardi DASS BB1 Flow Tour. Betanardi released some really good putters. They haven't got that much tour feedback, but I know Matt's used Betanardi for a while and he putted so, so well this week. He putts really well year to year, but seeing some of the things that he did on the final round, including that massive 50 foot birdie putt, it was pretty impressive. The ball he uses is the Titleist Pro V1X, a extremely popular ball on tour and Titleist number one ball in golf, no surprises there at all. Finally, in terms of clothing deal, I thought I'd mention that Matt Fitzpatrick wears Castor. It's a new deal he signed earlier this season and I think it looks pretty good. It's quite an under the radar brand, but here at Golf Magic, we think he looked very sharp from Thursday to Sunday. So go check it out if you want. That's it for today, guys, for Matt Fitzpatrick's What's in the Bag. I love doing videos like this where I can take a real deep dive into what clubs they use to win a major championship. And Matt's bag truly is really interesting. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.